In the early 1950s, the casting process for The Wild One began with the lead role of Johnny Strabler. The production company, Columbia Pictures, initially wanted Marlon Brando for the part, but he was unavailable due to his commitment to another film. James Dean was considered, but he was also tied up with another project. Eventually, Brando's schedule changed, and he became available, securing the role that would become iconic. For the role of Kathy, the love interest of Johnny, Columbia Pictures initially considered Marilyn Monroe. However, they decided that her glamorous image did not fit the character's profile. They then turned to Peggy Maley, an actress who had previously worked with Brando. However, Maley was ultimately considered too sophisticated for the role. The studio finally cast Mary Murphy, who had recently appeared in the Harlem Globetrotters, and brought a fresh, youthful energy to the part. The supporting roles were filled with a mix of experienced and up-and-coming actors. Lee Marvin, known for his work in film noir, was cast as Chino, the leader of a rival gang. He brought a tough, menacing presence to the role. Robert Keith, a seasoned character actor, played Captain Hansen, the police officer trying to maintain order. The cast was rounded out with a number of young actors, many of whom were just starting their careers. Among them were J.C. Flippin as Sheriff Harry Bleeker, Timothy Carey as Benny, and Alvy Moore as Miley. The chemistry between the lead actors was tested during rehearsals and early shoots. Brando and Murphy reportedly had a good rapport, which helped to create the romantic tension in the film. Marvin and Brando's rivalry was more tense, but it added to the authenticity of their on-screen conflict. In conclusion, the casting of The Wild One was a careful process of matching actors to roles, testing chemistry, and balancing experience with fresh talent. The result was a dynamic and memorable cast that brought the story to life. The Wild One, directed by Laszlo Benedek in 1953, showcases the director's unique vision and approach to storytelling. Known for his immersive directorial style, Benedek focused on creating a raw and authentic atmosphere for this film. Benedek was influenced by the Italian Neorealist movement, which emphasized realistic portrayals of everyday life. This influence is evident in the Wild One's documentary-style cinematography and naturalistic performances. The director's creative decision to cast real-life motorcycle gang members, including the lead actor Marlon Brando, further enhanced the film's authenticity. Collaboration was key to Benedek's directorial vision. He worked closely with his cast and crew, fostering an environment that encouraged experimentation and improvisation. Brando, for instance, was allowed to develop his character's distinctive mannerisms and speech, which became iconic in the film. Benedek's direction also emphasized visual storytelling. He used long takes and tracking shots to capture the restless energy of the biker gang and the small town they invade. The director's attention to detail, such as the careful composition of each frame and the use of natural lighting, added depth and nuance to the narrative. In The Wild One, Benedek successfully brought together various creative elements to create a compelling and enduring film. His directorial vision, informed by his influences and collaborative approach, resulted in a powerful exploration of youth rebellion and its impact on society. Town joke and I'm stuck with it. Got any business being a cop? The Wild One is a 1953 movie that stars Marlon Brando as the leader of a motorcycle gang. This film is known for its groundbreaking portrayal of youth rebellion and its iconic imagery. Did you know that the movie was based on a real life biker gang? Or that the original ending was much darker than the one we see today? Marlon Brando's performance as Johnny Strabler is a classic Hollywood masterpiece. He embodies the spirit of rebellion and nonconformity that defined a generation. But did you know that Brando himself was not a fan of motorcycles? We want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the wild one? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. And stay tuned for more fascinating facts and anecdotes about this iconic movie. From its shocking origins to its enduring legacy, the wild one is a film that continues to captivate audiences to this day. There'll be a hearing on this Tyran business, you'll get a summons. And you'd better show it. The Wild One, a 1953 movie, was set in a small California town where a biker gang causes chaos. The set design team had to create the perfect atmosphere of a peaceful town disrupted by rowdy bikers. They built a complete town street on a studio backlot, including a diner, garage, and residential areas. 
The production also used real locations, such as the town of Hollister, California, where the original 1947 motorcycle rally took place, inspiring the film's storyline. Logistical challenges included managing the large cast of bikers and extras, as well as coordinating numerous stunts and action sequences. To ensure safety, the production hired professional stuntmen and utilized a custom-built cycle for dangerous scenes. The film also faced controversy, with the Motion Picture Production Code objecting to the biker gang's rebellious behavior. To appease the censors, the script was revised and some scenes were cut or altered. Despite these challenges, the production team employed innovative techniques to enhance the film's visual impact. Cinematographer Hal Moore used handheld cameras to capture the raw energy of the biker gangs, while low-angle shots emphasized their dominance. The film's editing style, with quick cuts and montages, further contributed to its distinctive look. The Wild One's unique approach to filmmaking set new standards for future biker films and solidified Marlon Brando's status as a Hollywood icon. I'm really singing. I'm on the Christmas tree. The Wild One, a 1953 film, is often referred to as the popcorn movie of its time, with memorable characters and dialogue that have made it a part of popular culture. Despite being an old film, it still has a certain cool factor that many modern viewers can appreciate. The movie follows the story of Johnny, played by Marlon Brando, and his group of outlaw bikers as they cause chaos in a small town. The film begins with a cautionary message, which may seem unnecessary to some, but was likely included to prevent any imitation of the acts depicted in the movie. As the bikers make their way to a motorcycle race, they steal the second prize trophy and continue to wreak havoc in the town of Wrightsville. The local chief, Harry Bleeker, is unable to control the situation, causing growing agitation among the townspeople. One of the film's strengths is its exploration of themes such as the aimlessness of young rebels and the secret desires of small town women. The film also features a romantic angle between Johnny and Kathy, the chief's daughter. Director Laszlo Benedict skillfully handles these themes without glorifying the biker's behavior, instead offering a nuanced understanding of their lifestyle. Marlon Brando delivers a standout performance as Johnny, using the method acting technique to fully embody the character. His co-star, Mary Murphy, also gives a strong performance as Kathy. The film's supporting cast, including Robert Keith as Chief Bleeker, also adds to its overall quality. The Wild One's enduring popularity can be attributed to its memorable characters, engaging storyline, and social commentary. Despite being over 60 years old, it remains a relevant and entertaining film that continues to captivate audiences. The Wild One, a 1953 movie, features a memorable score and soundtrack that significantly contributes to the film's rebellious spirit and emotional tone. The music, composed by Lee Stevens, includes a mix of jazz, blues, and rock and roll, which perfectly complements the biker subculture portrayed in the movie. Stevens' score is minimalistic, with a focus on creating a tense and gritty atmosphere. He uses dissonant chords and unconventional instrumentation to evoke a sense of lawlessness and chaos. The score's standout piece, the main theme, features a haunting saxophone melody that underscores the film's themes of alienation and rebellion. The soundtrack features various popular songs of the era, including Black Denim Trousers and Motorcycle Boots by The Cheers and Hot Rod Race by Archie Shibley. These songs further emphasize the film's youthful energy and non-conformist attitude. Interestingly, the film's director, Laszlo Benedek, initially wanted to use classical music for the score. However, Stevens convinced him that a more contemporary sound would better suit the film's subject matter. This decision proved to be a crucial factor in the film's success, as the music helped to establish the film's unique identity and resonated with its target audience. In an interview, Stevens stated, the music had to reflect the raw energy and rebelliousness of the characters. It had to be something that the audience could relate to and feel. This approach paid off as the score and soundtrack have since become synonymous with the film and have significantly contributed to its enduring legacy. In conclusion, the creation of the score and soundtrack for The Wild One was a collaborative effort between Stevens, Benedek, and the various musicians involved. The music's ability to complement the narrative and emotional tone of the film has made it a standout aspect of the movie and a key factor in its lasting impact.
Lee Marvin, known for his tough guy persona in The Wild One, made a significant impact on Jeff Bridges' decision to pursue acting. Bridges, inspired by Marvin and Robert Ryan's kind, and giving nature on the set of The Iceman Cometh, was motivated to fully commit to the craft. Marlon Brando, another pivotal figure in the film, was one of the innovators of the method acting technique in American film. His unique approach to acting set a new standard for future generations of actors. Interestingly, James Dean, a rising star in the film industry, was influenced by Brando's style. Dean even purchased a Triumph Tur 5 trophy motorcycle, similar to the one Brando used in The Wild One, to mimic his on-screen persona. This demonstrates the profound impact that Brando had on his contemporaries and those who followed in his footsteps. One of the most iconic scenes in The Wild One is when Marlon Brando, as Johnny Strabler, is asked what are you rebelling against, and famously replies, what do you got? This scene showcases Brando's brooding, rebellious persona and solidified his status as a cultural icon. The direction is simple, with the camera focused on Brando, emphasizing his performance. Brando's delivery is casual yet impactful, capturing the essence of disillusionment and nonconformity in post-war America. Another memorable scene is the motorcycle race, where Brando's character competes against Lee Marvin's Chino. The cinematography is remarkable, with dynamic tracking shots capturing the speed and energy of the race. The performances are intense, with both actors fully embodying their character's rivalry and competitive spirit. This scene not only showcases the actor's physicality, but also the themes of freedom, rebellion, and the allure of the open road. The Wild One's impact on audiences is significant. The film encapsulates the zeitgeist of the time, tapping into the cultural shift towards nonconformity and individualism. Brando's portrayal of Johnny Strabler has become an enduring symbol of youth rebellion, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. The film's influence extends beyond cinema, leaving a lasting impact on fashion, music, and popular culture. Unfortunately, I couldn't find specific commentary from the filmmakers and actors regarding these scenes. However, the consensus among critics and audiences alike is that The Wild One is a groundbreaking film, thanks in large part to Brando's iconic performance and the film's exploration of relevant social themes. Now hit the road. I mean right now, get going. We want to watch the thrilling races, Daddy. Marlon Brando, a four-time Oscar winner, holds the distinction of being one of the few actors to have won all his awards for performances in Best Picture winners. His unforgettable role in The Wild One came just before his back-to-back Oscar-winning performances in On the Waterfront and The Godfather. Brando's impact on the film industry is undeniable, having left his mark on some of the most memorable films in American cinema. His ability to fully embody his characters has captivated audiences for generations, solidifying his place as one of the greatest actors in film history. The 1953 movie, The Wild One, had a significant cultural and social impact. Starring Marlon Brando, the film depicted the story of a motorcycle gang's arrival in a small town and the ensuing chaos. Audiences were captivated by the rebellious and anti-establishment themes presented in the movie. The Wild One is often credited with popularizing the motorcycle subculture and contributing to the rise of greaser fashion, including leather jackets, blue jeans, and boots. The film's impact on pop culture was substantial, with its iconic imagery and themes of rebellion influencing music, literature, and film for years to come. Moreover, The Wild One sparked discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The film's depiction of juvenile delinquency and the clash between traditional values and youth culture resonated with audiences, reflecting the societal tensions of the time. The Wild One served as a catalyst for conversations about the role of youth in society and the impact of popular culture on behavior and attitudes. In summary, The Wild One left an indelible mark on pop culture and sparked important discussions on social and cultural themes. Its influence can still be seen today, underscoring the film's enduring significance. Marlon Brando, known for his role in The Wild One, had a notable connection to his actress sister, Jocelyn Brando. They both appeared in The Ugly American and The Chase. Brando also demonstrated support for the Black Panther Party in the late 1970s, providing financial and public backing. John Doucette, another actor in The Wild One, 
was part of the John Wayne stock company, having supporting roles in four of John Wayne's films, The Sea Chase, The Sons of Katie Elder, True Grit, and Big Jake. Doucette's career was marked by his work alongside the iconic Western star. We didn't go. Crazy. The Wild One, a 1953 movie starring Marlon Brando, received mixed reviews from critics when it was first released. Some praise Brando's performance, with the New York Times calling him electrifying and powerfully effective. However, other reviewers criticized the film for glorifying juvenile delinquency. Despite the mixed reviews, The Wild One was a box office success and has since become a classic of the film noir genre. It has also had a significant cultural impact, with Brando's portrayal of the motorcycle gang leader, Johnny Strabler, becoming an iconic representation of rebellious youth culture. The film did not receive any major awards or nominations, but it has been included in several lists of notable films, including the National Film Registry of the Library of Congress. This recognition is a testament to the film's enduring popularity and cultural significance. Being included in the National Film Registry is a significant honor, as it recognizes films that are culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. This designation ensures that the Wild One will be preserved for future generations to enjoy and study. Overall, while The Wild One received mixed reviews upon its release, its cultural impact and inclusion in the National Film Registry are a testament to its enduring popularity and significance in the world of cinema. Very upset. Well, he got what he wanted. Business before pleasure. Dad. In the 1953 film The Wild One, Alvy Moore, who played the minor role of Pigeon, would later gain fame as the absent-minded county agricultural agent Hank Kimball in the TV show Green Acres. Timothy Carey, another actor in the film, went on to perform a spoken word introduction for a cover recording of the theme to The World's Greatest Sinner. Marlon Brando, who starred as Johnny Strabler, the leader of the Black Rebels Motorcycle Club, had two of his Oscar-winning roles referenced in Robert De Niro's own Oscar-winning performances. De Niro played a younger version of Brando's character, Vito Corleone, in The Godfather Part II, and imitated Brando's famous, I could have been a contender monologue from On the Waterfront in Raging Bull. In The Wild One, Brando's character famously replied to the question of what he was rebelling against with the answer, What do you got? This film, along with Brando's performance, helped to define the image of the motorcycle gang and rebel culture in America during the 1950s. That's him! What's all that? What's all the noise? What's going on? In the early 1950s, a groundbreaking film titled The Wild One hit the silver screen, starring the iconic Marlon Brando. The movie set in the world of motorcycle gangs brought a new kind of gritty realism to Hollywood. During the filming, the cast and crew faced numerous challenges. For instance, many local residents were uneasy about the subject matter and the presence of the motorcycle gangs, which often caused tension on set. Brando, known for his immersive method acting, reportedly stayed in character even when the cameras weren't rolling. This often made him difficult to approach, adding to the tense atmosphere on set. The film's director, Laszlo Benedek, had a different approach to filmmaking than Brando was used to. This led to several clashes between the two, further complicating the production process. Despite these challenges, The Wild One became a cultural phenomenon. Brando's portrayal of the rebellious biker, Johnny Strabler, cemented his status as a Hollywood icon. The film's raw, realistic portrayal of youth rebellion resonated with audiences, making it a lasting testament to its era. In one memorable scene, Brando, wearing his signature leather jacket, famously responds to the question, what are you rebelling against? With the iconic line, what have you got? This moment encapsulated the spirit of the film and became one of Brando's most memorable roles. Behind the scenes, The Wild One was a turbulent production marked by tension and conflict. Yet, these challenges only added to the film's authenticity, contributing to its enduring legacy in the annals of Hollywood history. Hey, get a load of this. They're real bells. Aren't they cute? Crazy. Hey, somebody tell me what that be. Marlon Brando, the renowned actor, had an unusual connection with his friend Wally Cox's ashes. After Cox's death, Brando took possession of his ashes, claiming he would scatter them at sea. However, he kept them hidden in a closet at his house and frequently engaged in conversations with him. Following Brando's death, both their ashes were scattered in Death Valley, California. Brando also expressed interest in playing Pablo Picasso in a film and even attempted to reduce weight on a banana diet. 
Unfortunately, the film was never made. On the other hand, Lee Marvin, Brando's co-star in The Wild One, turned down two movies directed by William Friedkin, The French Connection and Sorcerer. Despite this, Marvin's career remained successful, and he continued to be a prominent figure in Hollywood. These anecdotes provide a glimpse into the lives of these Hollywood legends, showcasing their unique personalities and interests beyond their on-screen personas. And you could hit me. You think you're too good for me. The Wild One, a 1953 movie, holds a significant place in film history as a groundbreaking film that brought the biker subculture into the mainstream. Its raw and gritty portrayal of rebellious youth, led by Marlon Brando, left a lasting impact on future filmmaking. The film's influence can be seen in various subsequent works, such as the 1960s and 70s biker films like Easy Rider and The Born Losers. It also inspired films that explored themes of youth rebellion, such as Rebel Without a Cause and The Outsiders. Moreover, The Wild One played a crucial role in shaping Brando's career as a cultural icon with his portrayal of the brooding and rebellious biker leader, Johnny Strabler, becoming an enduring symbol of nonconformity and anti-establishment. Attitudes, the film's impact can also be seen in music, with songs like Wild One by Martha Reeves and The Vandellas, and The Wild One, Forever by Thin Lizzy, drawing inspiration from the movie's themes and characters. In summary, The Wild One's legacy and influence can be seen in various aspects of popular culture, from film and music to fashion, and attitudes towards youth rebellion. Its impact on future filmmaking and subsequent works has solidified its place as a classic in American cinema. You just came from Carbondale. Well, so what? We just go back over there, that's all. <laughs> Marlon Brando, known for his role as Johnny in The Wild One, received his last Best Actor Oscar nomination in 1974 for Last Tango in Paris. This was noteworthy because Brando had previously refused his Oscar for The Godfather in 1972 causing much controversy in Hollywood. Brando's influence extended beyond acting, as his haircut in The Wild One sparked a trend for sideburns, inspiring the likes of James Dean and Elvis Presley. Presley even modeled his character in Jailhouse Rock after Brando's Johnny. Brando, along with George C. Scott and Dudley Nichols, are the only three people to have declined an Academy Award out of more than 2,000 winners. They've got Johnny. They're taking him. Have you just been sitting here? Aren't you going to do- In 1956, The Wild One, starring Marlon Brando, was released in the Republic of Ireland without any restrictions, despite the British Board of Film Censors rulings. The film received mixed reviews, with some critics praising Brando's performance while others preferred The Bowery Boys. The movie played for one week at the Theatre Royal in Dublin, and had brief runs in other parts of the country. In the film, Sheriff Bleeker, played by Robert Keith, enforces the law in Wrightsville, but does not wear any badge, patches, or other uniform insignia. He also does not carry a firearm or any utilities. Marlon Brando, who played the lead role in The Wild One, was featured in Empire Magazine's Greatest Living Actors series in an issue published a week before his death. Brando was known for his compelling and distinctive acting style, which had a significant impact on the film industry. He's gonna crawl right under your front wheel all by his little self. Hey, I want this man arrested. He wants me arrested, you- If you have any memories or experiences related to the 1953 movie, The Wild One, we'd love to hear from you. This groundbreaking film, starring Marlon Brando, left a lasting impact on cinema and continues to be a topic of conversation among film enthusiasts. Did this movie inspire you, shape your perspective, or leave a personal impression? We invite you to share your thoughts and engage with our community. Your insights could provide a fresh perspective or spark a lively discussion. If you enjoyed this exploration, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic journeys. Your support helps us continue to delve into the world of classic films and their enduring influence. Let's celebrate our shared love for movies and the memories they create. That's a nice souvenir to have. I love Johnny. <laughs>